Windows 10 was released less than two weeks ago and I am going to show you a few of the new things about Windows but I also want to show you how much is still similar all the way back to Windows 95. One thing that right off the bat is the start button. Start button has been replaced over the years by the word start to various forms of the Windows logo and now it's got this flat Windows logo look. Windows 10 start menu is a combination of the old Windows start menu that has been around since Windows 95 and a combination of these tiles that made Windows 8 users very frustrated. So first off let's talk about the start menu and how you can customize it. Just as in Windows 8 you can right click on any of these tiles and remove them or resize them or you can click and drag them. So as an example, some of these tiles I do not need, so I'm going to remove them. So I'm going to right click, unpin them from the start menu. Same thing with the store. By unpinning them from the start menu, as I'm doing here, that does not get rid of the program itself. The program itself is still available under the all apps area down here in the lower left corner. So you can unpin as many as you would like. In fact, you can unpin all of your items from the sidebar there. Then you can move your mouse to the edge, bring it in, and you have a more traditional type start menu. Now, if there are things you do want, you can go to all apps, find something you'd like, like for example, the weather, and right click on it from the all apps area and pin it to start so that it shows up. Now I can right click on that item that I put there and I can resize it to wide or I can resize it to large and you can make them as big or as small as you'd like here. Unfortunately one thing that they have taken away from Windows users is the ability to customize the most used section here. So these things will just show up based on how often you use a particular program. You can go into this area and right click and say don't show in this list and it'll disappear but you can't add anything to this list that's the unfortunate part one thing you'll notice that is missing from this area is my computer if you want to get the my computer icon back or now they call it this PC do that is you find this PC in any of your file Explorer Windows Explorer Windows right click on it and click pin to start and when I do that I get a new this PC icon which will give you the old my computer window. To get the control panel back the easiest way to do it is click the start button start typing control panel and it should show up here at the top and they call it a desktop app so we're gonna right click it and again we're gonna pin that to the start so if we go back and look at start now I've got this PC which is my computer and we have the control panel. Now let's move on to the new settings menu which has replaced the control panel. Again I showed you how to get to the control panel as we know it in the past but if you venture into settings you're going to find a window that looks like this. So they've really tried to pare down categories of the different settings on your computer so if you click for example on system you're going to get different items related to the specific workings of your system. If you don't find a setting amongst these general categories that you're looking for, you can click and search in this find a setting box in the upper right corner. So for example, I don't see an area in here where I might want to do wallpaper. It may overlook me when I see personalization, which is where it is. But if I type in wallpaper, then it comes up and says change the picture on your lock screen or choose a background or slideshow as your background mode. So it gives you the opportunity to quickly find what you're looking for using the search box. The last thing that we'll talk about in this introduction to Windows 10 changes is that file explorer which used to be known as Windows Explorer. But let's look at some of the menus up here at the top. Under the file menu, Windows shows you places that you visited most recently or frequently. If you select a file or folder and then click home, you're going to find many of the items that used to be available under edit. Copy and paste, a copy to another area, properties of the file or the folder, things like that. So that's what you'll find under the home key. The share button allows you to print directly or if you're using 
mail set up directly on your computer not web-based mail but a mail program you can use the email or you can burn to disk if you're still using CDs or DVDs and then lastly is the view area where you can choose whether or not you want to see the navigation pane which is over on that left hand side how you want to view your icon, extra large small list however you want to do it all in all however Windows 10 does not divert too far from our previous versions of Windows and as I always mention please look for similarities versus the differences as you learn the new operating system